What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys have been blowing me up about this um, new disc track on Upchurch that Screw dropped. I don't know. I think it was last night. Um, all I have to say before I jump into this is it better not be more of the same thing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I, this is like six minutes long and I'm not, I do not want to sit here and be bored again. So, um... As you guys know, we're here, we, we, we are going to be here for the bars. You guys have heard my thoughts on this in, entire beef and what I think, you know, started out as a, you know what I'm saying, as an innocent mistake. You get what I'm saying? Like a misunderstanding and spiral into something bigger. I mean, other than that, the music is, the music has been good overall, but I felt like screw did not bring the fire that i know that he can bring and that's pretty much the sentiment that a lot of reactors have when it comes to this battle rap that's been going on this beef right so um there's little things that are going on surrounding this entire thing um so i'm just going to say this before we jump into this track man um I don't have nothing against Screw. I just believe that he needs to really do concentrate on his music and go back to the guy that he used to be that cared about the community and wasn't here for, you know, for monetary gain or whatever the situation is. I know there's a lot of people that rock with Screw. Um, you got the SFJ Nation um, over there that I used to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? Supported his music and everything. And things just got to the point where I'm, I was seeing a lot of stuff going around and just from me noticing certain things about him that he, he, he switched up a little bit. So if he's trying to regain that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he just needs to own it. You know what I mean? There's um, a live um, that you guys also told me to react to. So I'm going to be reacting to that at Upchurch. Um, live that he did so i'm going to be reacting to that too um of him just talking i'm going to be doing that not on this video but on a separate video um but for this when it comes on to this track right here as i said before we're going to be addressing the bars they got a hit they got a hit church got you you know what i'm saying he hit back before you did right and now you're coming out with this so this is six minutes long so i'm ready now it seems like he has some sort of <laughs> puppets i don't even know who those could be who are those guys that look like that could be it looked like art of kicks and that i mean that guy over there with the lipstick <laughs> why does that puppet have lipstick on i guess that's simba Somebody had told me that he invited some people out to his ranch, and I think Articix and Simbo TV, I think those two were invited out to the ranch. I don't know who that in the middle. I don't know who that person is. <laughs> I know it ain't me, because I ain't got dreads. So, <laughs> But in any case, I'm not relevant enough to for him to put me in that picture anyway. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in any case, man... It's a sentiment that a lot of us shared that Upchurch is winning the battle. He's won pretty much every round so far, but this is him responding to the smash. So let's go check this out, man, and let's see what Screw has to offer. And by all means, give him a round of applause because he sure needs it for this performance. Because if he doesn't bring the bars, you already know. You already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's go do this, man. Um, listen, I put one more round in the chamber, and that's it. Buddy got an obsession with me, and that's it. 
But how though? <laughs> I'll give you one more. I don't, I, I don't understand. Is is screw delusional or something? I don't understand this. Somebody, as I said before, on the on the video that I react to, you know, catching up with the beef, right? I said, even if you're gonna take what Upchurch did on the interview, right, as a diss, even if you're gonna do that, you're the first one who did a diss track, man. It wasn't Upchurch. You're the first one. You were the first one. It wasn't him. You started the beef. You started the beef, man. You started this whole diss track stuff. So you can't say the man was chasing you. He literally said if he was talk, he, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't talking about you, but if he was talking about you, he said you were irrelevant. And then you went and made a diss track. <laughs> I don't understand what he's saying. Like, this guy is obsessed with him. Like, how is Upchurch obsessed with you, bro? Anyways, let, let's do this. Let, How's let's this? get to the bars, because that's what I want to hear, okay? Face! Face, okay. Zion attacks. Damn, he gonna bring the um, criminal beat? <laughs> For real. Look, look. Listen, class, I like to introduce Ryan. Please don't fight him. He just wants everyone to like him. You brought my fame into it, so now you're gonna die, baby. You look inbred, dickhead. Now you get slime shade. Number one, can I please get a receptionist, please? I think this country singer done got it. Oh, hold on a second. I'm pulling the bar. I'm pulling the bar. Cause I, I, okay. <sighs> that video that that Upchurch did, you know, making fun of his brother. Um, his brother is the one that jumped on, I think, I don't know if it's your reaction channel or a screws reaction channel, but I saw, but I saw him dude looks just like him. It was a weird video to watch because he was absolutely biased. He was calling church a racist again. And it, it you know, it gets old after a while because we all know he's not. So it's like there's no evidence to back up what you're talking about. You're just talking crap. And in um in battle rap or when you're battling with words, <laughs> right? When you're battling with words in, in battle rap, um you kinda can't go that far if it's white versus black. You just you don't bring up the racist issue. You talk about, you know, what people do. You can talk about the culture and all of this other stuff, make fun of them, stereotypes and stuff like that. But when you're going to outright call a person a racist, you better have evidence to back it up because that's not going to go down so easily. So let's hear him on the criminal beat, man. Um, wonder how they go chop it. Look. Look, listen class, I like to introduce Ryan Please don't fight him, he just wants everyone to like him You brought my fame into it, so now you're gonna die, baby You look inbred, dickhead, now you get slime shade Number one, can I please get a receptionist, please? I think this country singer them got an obsession with me I know we cry to deep inside, he's just a hell of a dweeb And actually rapping like he's still in the development league Stupid bitch, you just mad that I roasted you Country toasted you, there's so much fucking hoe in you This time I almost ghosted you The first time your bias ain't work, so you got emotional You falling off, it's so fun watching the walls close on you Even your own fans was telling me I was smoking you Church you gon' get them next verse Bitch they was coaching you Niggas was roasting you Cause you ain't do what you supposed to do And then I got a call from somebody Who was close to you They was supposed oh. to you Oh no we don't really know this dude So let me give your ass a few lessons How you supposed to move Don't start rapping Fail then be a gimmick Turn to a comedian Switch your image Then get to singing Be insecure and start tripping Start moaning whining and This is what I'm talking about Screw We know you got the talent man Where was this? Three rounds ago and it, it, you guys have heard me talk about how inconsistent he is. He's, he's, he's so inconsistent, and I think this is the reason why. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why Um. I believe he hasn't really blown up yet. You get what I'm saying? It's not because, you know, he's on YouTube and he's a YouTube rapper or whatever. 
as you guys know, if you're part of the SFJ Nation, you know this guy. It, he's been around. He's been around. He, 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 go, he, he has been doing big things. He's been in the game for a long time before even YouTube. He's been rapping. He talks about his history all the time. Especially during the Eminem versus MGK beef, he talks about his relationship with MGK. Right? He's been around, guys. He's been around. So I know Screw got the bars, but his problem is he's not consistent with what he's doing. Why is it that he, wait, he waited until this long to bring us some quality bars, some bars that hit? You get what I'm saying? He could have been done this. What was he doing, playing around? So he was waiting on church to get serious, for him to get serious? I don't think so. This is the thing that I've always had a problem with him and his sons. Like, one time he'll come out with a fire song, and then he'll have, like, five terrible um, tracks in a row and then he'll come back with another good one. He's not consistent with his music. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to hear these bars. This is the screw that I knew when I just started, um, watching his channel. This is the one that I'm used to. Okay. This is the screw. I like to hear the one that goes in on beats. It's not about, um, Sorry, I just heard, <laughs> thought I heard something at the door. Anyways, but this is the screw I want to hear, man. This is the real screw right here. The one that goes in, the one that goes in and actually, you know what I'm saying, writes. Because I don't think, I think maybe is maybe his last ones, the last, for the previous rounds, he probably... I don't know. Maybe he was freestyling them. I don't know, man. But I know when I hear the old screw, it's like how Eminem came back and was and was like, okay, you want Shady? You got him. Because everybody wants to hear Slim Shady. Nobody wants to. <laughs> A lot of people don't want to hear Eminem. You know Slim Shady will body anybody, but it's like Eminem. They act like Eminem is not the same person. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I want to hear that dude, man, that dude that was was just happy to, to, you know, to be there for the SFJ Nation and all of this foolishness with, you know, him doing the same thing to people that Dax did to him and all of this other stuff. Like, that's not the screw I know. Like, and everybody, you know, a lot of people said he switched up. So if this, if the battle, if battles is what it takes to get him out of that funk, man, because all that stuff he was putting out before, I, I was not really feeling it. And it leaves a, it left a bad taste in my mouth. To be honest, from that first one, it left a really bad taste in my mouth because I'm like, you're a black guy. There's, there was no need for you to accuse this guy of being a racist. None whatsoever. There is none. You had no evidence to back that up. None whatsoever. Because since I've been reacting to Upchurch, I know he's worked with black people. He works, he, he has worked with black people. So you can't go there and say, oh, you never, you get what I'm saying? This man doesn't have to, to it, the man's a racist, man. You know what I'm saying? If, he, if you're going to call him a racist, if he's a racist, why is he inviting black people out to his ranch, man? That don't make no sense, Holmes. That don't make no sense. It doesn't matter if you're a racist. You hate people for the. You hate a particular group of people. If you're going to invite them to your home, you're not inviting them there to have a good time. And these guys have nothing but good things to say about the guy. You get what I'm saying? So it's not it's not it's not even a brainwash issue. But let's get into this, man. We're ten minutes in already. I'm already talking. I really do want to hear this track. But this is the screw. I want you guys to to know that this is the screw that I'm used to. This is the rap genius screw right here that we're listening to right now. This is that guy. Approaching you because you ain't do what you supposed to do, and then I got a call from somebody who was close to you. They was mm -hmm. exposing you. Oh no, we don't really know this dude. 
So let me give your ass a few lessons how you supposed to move. Don't start rapping, fail, then be a gimmick. Turn to a comedian, switch your image, then get to singing. Be insecure and start tripping, start moaning, whining, and bitching. Every time someone's a critic and say that they didn't feel them in. Don't do fucked up business, cause that's gonna cost you. And start fighting me, cause you tired of fighting lawsuits. I know that hard you, but homie, you know that I want you. Fans try to swarm, it ain't work, cause I disarmed you, bitch. What you want another mill off me? Like I ain't monetized mine, bitch, I'm still gonna eat. But real talk, I got a question, keep it real okay. long. Hold on a second, bruh. Okay. How many of you have watched this? Because I talked about this before. I talked about this before. Um, I think it was during this, the same video when I was reacting. I was like, I noticed that um, w when I go to Screw's page to listen to his disses, they're all monetized. There's ads, right? I don't know if he knows this. Uh, maybe maybe he doesn't know maybe he doesn't know that your your videos are automatically um monetized if you do not go in there and put ads where they're supposed where you want them to be during breaks it automatically puts a puts a ad at the beginning of your video i don't know if he knows that because you saying that you didn't monetize your 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 diss songs it's not true <laughs> You get what I'm saying? As I said, I don't know if he knew that. Because if you don't, it automatically, as soon as you upload a video, as soon as you publish it, if you did not go to the monetization tab and turn off monetization, that video is going to have ads on it. Okay? Automatically. So you have to go into the, monetiz the monetization tab and turn monetization off if you don't want any ads on the video at all but if you leave it there there's always going to be one at the beginning not talking about those people who have premium youtube okay they don't see ads at all ad blockers same deal but if he knows and he's talking about that i talked about it before that um up churches i can't tell i, I go to up churches um videos and his diss song i never see an ad come up at the beginning not even one time so that's why i was like that's strange you know what i'm saying i'm wondering if upchurch is not monetizing the disses which is something that anybody would do you get what i'm saying I'm not saying he, sh he should or he shouldn't it's his choice but i i just never came across that Cause I disarmed you, bitch What you want another mill off me? Like I ain't monetized mine Bitch, I'm still gon' eat But real talk, I got a question Keep it real on me How the fuck you dropped the beat And you still off beat Like goddamn How whack can you actually be? Bruise his whole body, yeah Now he blacker than me A dope rapper, he's more blacker You keep acting these things Cause I think you scared of the Ryan That you actually be Finally, no booty talk But the L's I give you Cause you couldn't resist Talking about male nipples Ryan like the brainwashing Ain't gon' work in this match Fuck that, I'm gonna die You mean I actually got a rap? Hell yeah, you dumb bitch Met your match in a fan base you can't sway that's been ready for the attack matter of fact you say i'm using you to clout to the top but seem to only fucking diss me when an album done drop little twat you don't really know the things that i'm aware of like how you duck your people in your city that you're scared of i'm here to tell you we don't listen to them silly hoes that try to spam your wins and suck a dick in every video like really though you could sway the word of some but they just scared that your fan base would turn on them sound real loyal you act like a kid that was real spoiled when mama said no then your blood it will boil so listen ryan no you ain't as nice as me dummy they don't like your rap skills they like you because they think you fun niggas only pop your shit because it's making them they money because you're insecure ass need acceptance from everybody and you're not going off really rap like this whoever told you that shit was probably cupped in a bitch you say you were supposed to kill me when we opened this shit four songs later nope still growing and shit let's get proper the big yap or six shotter they might think you got so i shot your hands in a stigmata let's get honest he's self-conscious about his product and that's why he the most insecure one in his genre he may deceive you he's snaking people they have been caught him i may be evil but maybe here to be his karma you made a sequel to make it equal that shit cost you Nishak the coach because we in the post and i'm ben wallace didn't know you goku so he approached you like shit talkers until i go blue this super saiyan go shit on him then i piss on him i rip on him then spit on him we ain't seen a guy this big die since chris wallace if this whoa whoa screw went in on this one he went in i think he got his <laughs> i think he got his feelings hurt and he finally decided to do something about it finally
This is a screw I know, man. This is the screw that I want to hear. It's not about... It's a diss song. I mean, you're getting a little personal if you ask me. <laughs> getting a little personal. You know what I'm saying? But diss tracks are supposed to go to that lane. As long as it doesn't go, end up being a, you know what I'm saying, a violent thing in the future. You know what I mean? Where it, it come from a place of hate. It should come from a place of, we want to see who, who the best rapper is. I still haven't heard him acknowledge Upchurch as a rapper, which is not cool. You get what I'm saying? The fact of the matter is, what, what Screw needs to understand is the fact that you are responding to Upchurch, you are acknowledging his skills. That's what the rap game is all about, and I think he's forgetting. Him saying the stuff that he was saying in the interview, you know what I'm saying? I disagree with him com completely. I disagree with him. Because what he's trying to say didn't make sense. You got to understand that it seems like me understand hip-hop more than he does. And he's, he's probably been in it a long time. You know what I'm saying? He's been in it a long time, I should say. Right? So it seems like I understand the rules or the unwritten rules of hip-hop when it comes on to rap beefs. I understand that. The fact that you're responding to an artist because they diss you... That means you're giving them some level of disrespect, of, of respect. Shut up, alarm. That simply means that you're giving them some level of respect. You get what I'm saying? Because I remember when Eminem did the interview with, with Sway before he responded to MGK. He said, now I got to go respond to this, you know, this mother effing. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that he said something. You know. The fact that he said something. And I've said this before. Eminem did not have to respond to MGK. We wouldn't have think anything of it. Because we know Eminem's track record. He doesn't need. To answer anybody that this is him. But because of the rules of the game. That he understands. He has to. Come on man. But this is the screw. That I love to hear, man. The guy that goes off and gives zero fucks. Let's do this. It's making them their money because you're insecure. Like and that from everybody. Part, man. And you're not going off when you rap like this. Whoever told you that shit was probably cupped in a bitch. You say you were supposed to kill me when we opened this shit four songs later. Nope, still growing and shit. Let's get proper. The big yap or six shot. They might think you got, so I shot your hands in a stigmata. Let's get honest. He's self conscious about his product. And that's why he the most insecure one in his genre. He may deceive you. He's snaking people. They've been caught him. I may be evil, but maybe here to be his karma. You made a sequel to make it equal. That shit cost you. Need Shaq the coach cause we in the post and I'm Ben Wallace Didn't know you Goku so he approached you like shit talkers Until I go blue this super saiyan go shit on him Then I piss on him I rip on him then spit on him We ain't seen a guy this big die since Chris Wallace If this conflict is just I like judged, that don't... bar that bar is fire bro That bar right there the Chris Wallace bar that bar on him, that I piss on him I rip on him then spit on him We ain't seen a guy this big die since Chris Wallace If this we ain't, we ain't seen a guy this this big die since Chris Wallace. <laughs> That's a fire bar. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That, that, that is a fire bar right there. And that's what I'm saying, man. Like, Screw has the talent. There's no doubt about it that the dude has talent, but he's so inconsistent, man. This is the Screw I want to hear consistently. Bring this fire, this energy. Every time you hop on a song, it's not a, it's, it, you get what I'm saying? Like, when have you ever heard somebody like Jay-Z, Eminem, I'm, I'm naming some of the greats, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac. When have you ever heard those guys on a song where you're like, oh, um, he's not going to bring it this time. That's your, uh, that's off the bat, seconds in, you're like, Okay, this is not the Tupac or the Biggie that I know. Immediately you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, with Screw, is just like, you can tell if the track is going to be fire the first 20 to 30 seconds because you know what Screw you're going to get. 
I don't know what it what what is happening. Some people are saying that he's on drugs. I mean, all of this stuff that is coming out now, I don't know that for sure, so I'm not saying. I mean, if he is, if that's a situation where he is on drugs or or something like that or whatever the situation is and he and this is what's been influencing his music or why, you know, maybe you will get a fire track one time and then, you know, the next time he's like kind of out of it like he doesn't know what to do or he can't really find the bars to come back with i don't know what it is but all i'm saying is that he needs to bring this guy every time this is the screw i want to see show up regardless of if it's a battle rap or songs you know what i'm saying he has the energy this is the energy man let's do this that was a this fire bar, is man. judged on rap, then there's really no way to cap, and you actually have to snap, and your stats is just that. Stats put on a track, they can never save your ass from the fact that you're getting smashed. So, you good a country, my nigga, keep flipping that. Some people will hear your raps and just actually think you're trash, and I promise the world ain't over. Be a soldier and just relax, because you'll never actually win until you accept that. Respect that, and please don't meddle with screw. It blows my mind that you can find something better nice. to do. I know he's nervous when he heard this, bed, he read as a fool. You say you've done a lot of things, but what's that getting for you? Because if the billboard hits, the fans and the nice Whips really ever mess shit, you wouldn't care what I do. You call me Ja Rule, not true. No, this might be more like Slime Shady catching a body on Whitey Four. He's stressing because his flexing is mm, only weapon, and he feel his grip of slippers. His niggas then got objectively crying in comic sections, explaining like we ain't get it. And his cheerleading sections, the only ones that protect him. I hope he learned a lesson now he knows the truth. A growing number of people choosing honesty over views, and the community is starting to point out his little crew who go say that he won before they click it and view. Listen, dude, not everyone is as stupid as you. Type to think if you scream louder than your fucking point is proof fucking goof what up church having some money problems a loyal fan you robbed the master pay and you play possum and threw a hissy fit when he publicly started talking how ironic i don't understand man you know what pisses me off about the stuff that he's saying sometimes is is just that there's no evidence to back it up there's no evidence dude if you're gonna talk about this stuff have the receipts man show us the receipts where are you getting these this information from you get what I'm saying? Where are you getting this information from? You're saying that Upchurch having money problems? <laughs> I don't know. You got to talk about stuff that you that the fans are going to recognize. Ain't no fan here sitting down talking about Upchurch can't be having money problems. There is no way in hell this guy is having money problems. There is no way. There's no way. He doesn't seem like he. I mean, every time I see, I I watch one of his videos, where he's just doing a video inside of his house or whatever. He looks like he lives a very simple life, you know. Maybe a couple of nice things, but you make good money from being independent. All pretty much all that money is coming directly to you. There's a few people you have to pay, you know a lawyer of uh, your producer you know maybe you know somebody that helps on the track with him you get what i'm saying i don't know but when you're independent pretty much you're making somewhere around maybe like 75 percent of the entire amount of cap um money that's coming in you're holding on to so i don't see i don't want to don't quote me on that number, okay? Because, you know, he could be giving away 50% of his money, maybe even more of that, and he's just keeping a percentage for himself. But still, that's still money. You get what I'm saying? Different. The difference in um, being with a label. A label takes more than it gives. You get what I'm saying? Eventually, you'll get to the place where you know, you can make, you, you're you making so much money or so much money is coming in where you look, you're going to be making more money, but, you know what I'm saying, the label is still taking a huge cut. You get what I'm saying? So, a lot of times, plus you get a lot of upfront money, you get signing bonuses and stuff like that. So, there's, there's, the, there's that also. But when you're independent, 
you pretty much all of that money comes to you and you decide what to do with it you are in charge of anything you're in charge of yourself your music hit the billboards that's more people if your album is number one regardless of what charts you're on people are buying the album people are listening to your stuff if it's on the billboard People are buying your stuff on iTunes, all the different platforms that he's putting his music on. People are buying his stuff. So I don't see, I don't see this thing where he's accusing Upchurch of clout tracing. I, I don't believe in it. I, I just, I don't believe in it. I can't believe in it. <laughs> you know, let's continue. Guess you've been stealing art ever since you started. Damn. Damn, damn. Oh, that's Look. it. I don't know if you're upset because I don't think you're that good of a rapper, but guess what? In ah, hip -hop okay. So finally, it, he admits that at, at least, at least he admits that Upchurch is a rapper. At least for the first time, I hear him say that. I hear him say something. I mean, he, he's not outright saying he's a rapper, but he said he's not that good of a rapper. Okay. So at least, at least indirectly, he's acknowledging that Upchurch is a rapper. So that's cool, and that's and that's cool. You get what I'm saying? As I said, I'm gonna be reacting to the. Um, let me finish here what he's saying first before I close. You out. can't bully or force people into thinking that you dope. You judge it by the music, pal. And yours just isn't my cup of tea. Now clearly, you do got fans of your rap music. The only way you're gonna truly turn me into a fan is make a rap song I like. These diss tracks is cute and stuff, but at this point, if you got five songs about one person, I can't bring myself to do that, bro. You're not that important to me, I'm sorry. And I shouldn't be that important to you. But I love you. Keep it up. Anyways, um, that was great. That was great. My assessment of it all, you know, my assessment of it all when it comes on to the fourth round, I'm going to give it another draw. And the reason why I'm giving this another draw, I still haven't given him a dub. And the reason why I'm not going to give him a dub for this <clears throat> is not that it was a fire. But I think the smash was on the same level. I think the smash was on the same level. Regardless of if you want to say if he was offbeat, I don't remember him, Upchurch, being offbeat in that song. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, if it happened, it happened. It doesn't matter. It's not about being offbeat. It's about, it's about when it comes on to battle rap, it's not, a, it's not a song. When it comes on to disses, I should say, diss tracks. When it comes to diss tracks, it's not about staying on beat. It really isn't. It's about what you're saying on the song. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I've listened to plenty of diss tracks. I know my throat is getting real dry right now. Right? It's not about that. Right? It's about what a person is saying, man. It's about the bars. It's about what a person is saying. Are you going to bring that heat? And for the first time in four rounds, he's finally brought some heat to the battle finally brought some heat to the battle so i respect him for at least at least indirectly saying that um he, he, you know he's saying that up church is not his cup of tea which is fine which is fine you should have just came out and say that in the first place instead of going in an interview and and saying battling battling up church is like battling um the special olympics stuff like that is not cool that simply means that you're saying he's not even worth it when you keep responding to the guy you keep responding so there's some level of respect there be real about it that's what i'm trying to say be real about it right game recognize game man 
So you playing it off, making it seem like you don't respect Upchurch when your actions is telling us you do respect the guy because you would not be responding to him. Right? And there's other people out here saying you ducking them, man. What's good with that? There's other guys out here that's trying to get a piece and you ducking. And you saying they not that important and all of this other stuff. Like, dude, come on, man. For, for a guy... For a guy that's been in, been and coming from battle rap underground, whatever whatever you want to call it, man, like just on that alone, you know what I'm saying? If you out here ducking people saying that they're not important, nigga, you got 150 thousand subscribers, you ain't that important. Let's just be honest about the situation, okay? Yeah, you making music, you want you going on you going on tour. You understand? Com compare, compare MGK. MGK has one as one hit <laughs> his entire career. He got one hit, one. <laughs> he literally comparing MGK. I'm the reason why I bring this beef up so much because it's the most recent. <laughs> okay, so the most recently relevant one that we all talk about. Okay, when it comes on to MGK. Comparing MGK to Eminem is like comparing, it's like saying, you know what I'm saying, pretty much what you said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, you, you get what I'm saying, that's like, it really was like Eminem being that basketball player battling in, in, in the freaking Special Olympics, it kinda was that, like that, but to have, to, <laughs> I don't see that kind of difference between you and Upchurch. I just don't see it. Upchurch got bars. Upchurch got double entendres. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's got it. He knows how to write rap music. He knows how to rap hip hop. He knows how to write hip hop. He knows how to do it. Give the man his respect. That's all. That's all everybody is saying. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? I mean, other than the fact that you called him a racist, which upset so many people because white people supported you and black people supported you. And then you outright go and to a white artist that has accomplished so much and basically just disrespected them off of a misunderstanding and then everybody is saying you're clout chasing, right? And now we're here, right? And we all know that you can do better. We all know that you can do better. Finally, you did do better. And I'm happy for it because we're here for it. I I just hope that this thing doesn't spiral out of control and get too far. So I'm going to be listening to, an, to another um, Upchurch thing. So I'll see you guys over there. But anyways, man, shout out to, to Screw. It's not, it's not hate towards him. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's never hate. You know what I mean? Um, I checked out some of the, the comments too on, on this video before I even played it and realized that a lot of people love the track. And it's rightly so. It's a fire track. It's a fire diss track. I don't know if Upchurch is going to respond. Um, I don't know. But I am going to go watch this live and heard what he have to, has to say because a lot of people are saying that he was being real, just addressing the whole situation. Um, and some people are saying he's being the bigger man and, and, and stuff like that. So let, I'm going to go react to that and watch it. So hopefully you guys check that video out too. But this this song, man, pretty, pretty awesome stuff, man. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. If you are here, whether you're from SFJ listening to what I have to say, little old me with little old 2,000 something subscribers, you know, all is welcome here. All is welcome here. I'm just giving you guys my experience with over there and how I felt when I, when I was over there. And I know it was not just me. I know it was not just me because a lot of people in the comment section was saying, dude, um, I remember when... He reacted to something and the whole comment section I heard at one point they were he was deleting comments deleting people's comments that were there criticizing 
him until he disabled the comments on the video because people were saying dude you're just being petty at this point you know what i'm saying you're just being petty you it's like you can't you don't know what a bar is anymore you can't it's like you can't lift up someone even though they have moved past the situation you can't lift them up now that they've moved past it and forgive and move on and that's one of the things we all got to learn to do man is just move on we all got to learn to move on forgive and move on man yes people do dirty stuff to us you know how many people today that i still have around me around me that has did me dirty in the past i forgive them move on but i keep a close eye on them because they've proven to me that i can't completely trust them but i'm just saying you gotta forgive and move on you can't just you, you know what i mean like everything they do now i'm gonna be all super critical about it and stuff like that and be and be biased and you know and say they don't have no talent and all of this other stuff like i'm never going to do that because guess what and that's the reason why in in in, in the um when i was catching up with the beef um that video when i was talking about that stuff right you know one of the things that i mentioned is that yes i may not like trump as a president but i respect him as a businessman because the dude is a freaking genius when it comes on to business and i will never deny that about him yeah i don't like i don't like him being president because i think he's he's having a terrible go at it right i i didn't vote i didn't vote and I'm saying that right now. I didn't vote. I don't. I I can't vote. By the way, I can't. <laughs> I can't vote because I I never know what to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I never know what to do. And you're basically in so in no on un, you know uncertain terms. You're like voting for the lesser of two evils. To be honest, because. You're not going to get a super clean candidate where you can be like, yes, <laughs> you stand for everything that I would want to sit in that White House. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So most of the times I really don't vote because a lot of people say, oh, you should vote or whatever. And it's like, it's tough because I, you know, one candidate represents something, the other represents something, something else. And you're never going to get what you want in that in one of those person are just one you get what i'm saying then when you do that then you're going to be labeled whether you're left or right you know what i'm saying and all this stuff oh you voted for this person so now you're a republican you voted for this person now you're democratic you are this you're a conservative and all these other all these labels that they put on you just because you vote for someone like i just don't do it i just say okay whoever wins let's see how they do then we can be critical about it. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, I do what I have to do to make to make a living for myself, guys. That's what I do. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? I I I adapt and just get on with it. That's what we know. If you guys know any Jamaicans out there, you know that the majority of Jamaicans are very hard workers and we just get to the business. We don't really care about racism and stuff like that yeah we see it exists but we just keep it moving man we just keep it moving i advise you guys to do the same man just keep it moving haters are gonna hate you know what i'm saying lovers are gonna love that's just how it is okay um you just gotta keep it moving get your dreams in order and go out and get them and educate your subconscious man and keep that ball rolling that's what we do around here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Take those words for what it is. And great track, Screw. Finally, we get you. Finally, you are in it. You are in it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, man. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to SFJ Nation. Shout out to Creek Squad. Um, all y'all are, are great. Um, thank you for accepting me into the into the creek squad people calling me skin now i'm like yeah buddy you know what i'm saying so um as i said man i've never been to a traditional south south southern um state i know you know i'm in florida but 
I would love to go to Texas. I've always like flown over all of those states to go to a different. I've never been to any of the really southern southern states. At one point, I wanted um, to go to. What is it Louisiana? I think. <laughs> yeah, at one point I wanted to go there, but I didn't end up going. Um, I ended up going to Vegas instead. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just what it is. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and also leave a comment in the comment section, man. We out here. We out here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you stay for the whole 40 minutes, thank you guys so much. I'll be out here. I'll talk to you guys later, man. Peace.